Hey there, I'm Ryan Aselta and welcome to Tour Confidential. I'm joined today by Sports Illustrated's Mark Godich and Golf.com's Michael Walker and via Skype, Josh Sens. And uh, guys, big weekend for Bubba Watson over at the HSBC in Shanghai. He wins his first World Golf Championship. Where has his game gone to this point? He's now number three in the world, guys, defending Masters champ. Do you think, Mark, Bubba has taken over Tiger and Phil as you know, the future of American golf at this point? Well, he has for this week or this month anyway. He kind of fell off the face of the earth after he won at Riviera and he won the Masters. And, you know, we expected big things out of him and he just was a flame out in the rest of the majors and, you know, was making more headlines with his commentary. So it's good to see that Bubba's back on track, especially winning overseas. What do you think, Michael? Obviously, the, the dramatics, a flair for them. He did it at the Masters a few years ago. He does it by holding out on 18 to force a playoff on Sunday. Do you think fans around the world are going to kind of you know, latch on to Bubba a little more than they have? I think they already have. I mean, yeah. I think that he plays an emotional style of golf that I think people really embrace. And I know, you know, like you mentioned the flame outs, you know, he's not always perfect on the golf course. But I do think, like, one of the complaints we have about golf is there are all these robots out there, you know, with these perfect swings. He's the complete opposite of that. And I think he's really shown maturity and consistency. I think when you look at him five years ago versus today, I mean, he's consistently having top tens. He's going to be a factor at Augusta. We know that. He has the game to compete at the other major venues next year. So it'll be really interesting to see. I mean, emotion is always going to be his problem. But if he gets that together, sure. I mean, Tiger and Phil, I think you'd say Bubba over them at the Masters. You know, he said he knows he hadn't reached his full potential yet. So he knows there's more out there. He's got to stay focused. And when he does that, you know, he hits it so dang far. He can play anywhere and win anywhere. Josh, what do you think? Is he the number one American golfer in the world at this point for what we've seen out of the last maybe 10, 12 months here? Uh, certainly the most explosive talent. I think the question about him, as others have pointed out already, is the consistency and the versatility of his game. We know he can win Augusta. We know there are certain courses he likes and others where he just seems to check out. I'm not sure that Bubba matches Ricky in terms of versatility, but certainly in terms of explosiveness, no doubt. After that first Masters title, he went almost two years without winning an event. This time around, seven months later, he wins in Shanghai. Uh, do you think he's kind of turned the corner when it comes to that part of his game? I think so. He's had a lot going on in his personal life. The Masters, first Masters win came out of nowhere. It's an adjustment once you've won and once you've achieved that star status. And I think he's getting more and more comfortable. You know, he won overseas away from his, his family, was back home, and he, you know, he delivered, and, and good for him. Yeah, and I, I think we overstate this consistency somehow. I mean, Phil Mickelson has never been a consistent player, but I mean, I think he's very similar to Bubba. He plays an emotional style. When he's on, he's really hard to catch. And with Ricky Fowler, I think you see him hitting a wall. Like, sure, he's consistent, he's doing it every time, but he's, does he have that extra gear that Mickelson has, that Bubba has, that when they're on, when they're engaged? they win events. And, and I think that that's why you'd, you'd have to have Bubba ahead of Fowler because, I mean, the two major champions, the way he plays the game, I do think that consistency, if you're not Tiger winning all the time, I think that, that it's, it's not as good as what guys like Mickelson and Watson are doing.